having a blast Gonna get it on the Bruce Lee podcast Bruce Lee like Bruce Lee Cause it's so hard and the T is loose leaf Making up those rhymes Don't write it, just do it loosely If you want my respect You all better put direct mm, Here are the words in the podcast That's what comes next My name's Mark Simpson I give hosts just like you The tools, the tactics, the training And the confidence to go and get your own bookings So you're not relying on Airbnb So I was... Um, running a clubhouse room recently and somebody asked me for my sort of airbnb hosting uh, guide checklist as you call it and um what i thought i'd do is i'd do a super quick um lesson just to help and one of the most important things and there's so many different things you can cover in a checklist for airbnb but my opinion there's there's two pieces of real estate here that you really do have to make sure you get correct and the first one is your description of your listing on Airbnb. And the second one is the, the profile page that you get on Airbnb. Two are uh, two bits of real estate that so many people get wrong or do it wrong or don't even realize how to actually make it a win for them. So the first one, let's cover the description on your Airbnb listing. Now Airbnb, unlike any other OTA, um, you get this amazing ability to actually be creative with your text. So many people get this wrong. And what I want for you to all remember right now is that nobody reads your listings. Nobody reads your words, especially when they're in block form. As a generation, at best, we skim read, if that. (laughs) So what you've got to make sure is that all the information you get across has got to be in bullet form and you've got to have the most important information right at the very top. And you're not telling the guest about how amazing you and your property is. You're explaining to the guest why this property is right for them. Because again, you've got to speak to your ideal guest. We call it a client avatar. Okay, so again, if you're trying to appeal to everybody, you're appealing to nobody. So if your customer avatar, your client avatar, your ideal guest would be workaways, what you should be doing is in the bullet points is explaining what you've got to make sure that their workaway is going to be super effective and they're going to love it and get a five-star experience. So for example, um, how quick is the Wi-Fi? Is there lots of charging points? Is there a printer? Do they have a desk? Do they have a quiet office that they can that they can go to? You know, um, do you have maybe Alexis in the property? Do they have Netflix? Like what, what have you got there? Is the amenities, is it close to takeaways? You know, um, is there things to do? How can they switch off? You know, uh, do you offer meditation in there? Like literally, what are you doing? Put it at the very top and list it really, really quickly. If you're going after a different crowd, maybe family friendly, then you'd be listing something else. So it would be, you know, we, we, we've got, um, you know, um, everything is protected. Uh, the, the bedrooms are really close together. Um, all beds are, you know, uh, make sure that they're low to ground for, for small children. X, Y, and Z. Bullet points. Number one, bullet points really get your description across and make sure you speak to the person that you want to come and stay with you. Second thing is your personal profile. So many people don't fill this up and you, you will be amazed at how many people actually check this out. Airbnb don't share this stat with you, but you'll be amazed at how many of your guests, I would go to say seven out of 10 people will check out this page, even if they book with you or not. So what you need to be doing in the first line of text, I would be saying that you are a property manager and your company is Summit. So it'd be like, hey, my name is Mark. I'm the founder of insert brand name. Um, You know, and you can even get a little bit cheeky here. You can say we are Top rated, um, top rated uh, business in the area. Check us out on, you know, check us out for our reviews. And again, what you're then doing is you're implementing the brain, the mindset. Hang on a second. This is a an overall company here. This isn't just a random Joe who's hosting his one property or his spare room. This is somebody who is, you know, is, is a professional. So that will make them intuitively, I think I don't know if I said the word right, but they will make them go to Google and run a search. And when they run a search on Google, they will find you on your website. So it's a real sneaky little hack, how you can get somebody off Airbnb and come and book with you directly, which is what I'm all about. So again, two little bits of real estate that you can really, really use. Um, Again, if you want to get more tactics and tips and techniques with Airbnb, Airbnb listing, Airbnb listing hacks, then please go check out more on the YouTube. There are tons and tons of videos on Boostly YouTube. Just type in Boostly YouTube in in, in a search and and, and it, it will come up. Um, But thank you so much for tuning in and I'll be back very, very soon as always to give you more tools, tactics, techniques on how you can increase your direct bookings. If you want to go and find out more about the book that I am putting together this year, head to boosty.co.uk forward slash book where you can join the pre-release squad. Speak soon. Bye-bye.
Oh, having a blast, gonna get it on the Bruce Lee podcast Bruce Lee like Bruce Lee cause it's so hard and the tea is loose leaf Making up those rhymes, don't write it, just do it loosely <laughs>